Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to an update video. So I wanted to do an update talking to you guys about some things. So um, three different things, kind of four, but like one of them you guys already know about, but I just wanted to mention it in this video again. So this is just the quick thing we'll do first. So you guys know I, some of you, most of you know, <laughs> unless, I mean, you didn't hear me talk about it in a previous video. Um, I have started streaming on Twitch and it's really great over there. So if you guys want to go over there and follow me, the link is down below. So that's the first thing. Um, if you guys are not into Twitch, I totally understand. I'm just letting you guys know in case um, you guys didn't see the original video I put up about Twitch. So, and I do go ahead and um, notify you guys whenever I'm going to go live. So I put up a video on YouTube that says I'm live on Twitch. And then if you turn notifications on after you follow me on Twitch, then you'll get a notification saying I'm live there as well. So now the main things I want to talk about. So the first thing is where is the foster family or when is the foster family coming back? So I'm getting so many questions about that. I'm actually really surprised because I know the foster family was a series that um, there, well, I guess it's because there was like long time viewers of the foster family, even though that was the least popular let's play on my channel. It was a let's play where there was people that came to watch every single part since the beginning. So, um, I guess it kind of makes sense then why you guys are asking, um, cause it's definitely like a let's play that a lot of, uh, those who watch it, um, like me and the people who watch it are very attached to because it's been around for so long, you know, and so many things have happened with the characters. So basically, um, I will let you guys know that at the, uh, when season four ended, um, eventually there would be a new series. Um, it'll have like a different name just because I feel like, um, I mean, I don't need to give all my series different names for new seasons. I have done that sometimes, but I mean, I was fine with doing season, uh, like the first season, season two, season three, season four, but I think season five, that's like, <laughs> that's insane. So I was like, I I'm ready to like change it up. Um, so I am changing the name. I do have a name already picked out. Um, so basically, I don't know exactly when that's going to come back. But I will let you guys know the reason I'm talking about it is because um, basically it's only been a month since... Um, season four ended. So, um, that's not really that long. I know some of you guys who love that series, it's like hard to wait and stuff like that. But like, I mean, there are some channels who go, I don't know, five or more months without posting a new, uh, season of a let's play after it ends. So, uh, I mean, I definitely don't wait that long. So don't worry. <laughs> I never wait like five, six, seven months. I, I Not even close to a year, like, you know, but because it's only been a month and I do have other series going on, I'm trying to just wait a little bit longer because I don't want to rush it. And then um, I have some other ideas in mind and I have two ideas for different series in my head, which I don't know when they're coming, but I just want to make sure I plan out everything and kind of start things um, at the right times. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I want to make sure like, because I can't decide what I want to do next. And I have a feeling what I might do next, but like, I'm not sure, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I, I just wanted to update you guys on that, that yes, the foster family will still come back. Um, and I just don't know exactly when, but it won't be too crazy long. So don't worry about that. And if you guys scroll back, like I said, it's only been a month. So I feel like for a series that was going on for almost three years, really close to three years, I think it's good to take a little bit longer than a month break from it, um, especially when I have some things to prepare and stuff for off camera. So that is the second thing. Then the third thing is... Um, where is single mom life season two, you guys? So a lot of you guys know, you guys might be like, what do you mean? It's twisted fate now. We know this, but you'd be surprised. I keep getting comments, um, ever since not long after twisted fate started, um, I was gradually just getting a few comments here and there of where is single mom life season two, when is single mom life season two coming? Um, and then recently I noticed it more. So then what I did was, um, I went back to part one of Twisted Fate and I, and every single part from part one I've added, um, so it'll be like The Sims 4, Twisted Fate, and then the part, and then 
I'll put bracket single mom life season two bracket. So I'll put that in brackets at the end just so more people know. And I think that kind of helped a little bit because I did see some new people commenting on the most recent part of single mom, not new people, but I mean people who watch single mom life who weren't watching Twisted Fate. So I think that helped a little bit, but then I got another comment the other day asking where it is. And then I got an email to my business email asking where single mom life season two. I was like, okay, so this is a problem. <laughs> I'm literally going to start getting emails about it. So I feel bad if some of you guys don't know that it's Twisted Fate. So I want to ask you guys, what should I do about that? So, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, so right now I have it titled, um, Twisted Fate and then Single Mom Life Season 2 in brackets, but should I flip it around? Like, I don't know what to do so that people know because <laughs> I keep getting questions about it. And I mean, I don't want you guys to think that it's not back. You know what I mean? So then I was like, oh no, should I let, should I have left the same name so that more people know? Because the thing is, for Life as Teen Parents, like more people know that that's 16 and Pregnant because it's like a similar name. So 16 and Pregnant, Life as Teen Parents, you know, it's both related to each other. But Single Mom Life and then Twisted Fate are very like opposite names. And you guys know why I changed the name because, um, she's not, Riley's not single anymore. So that's why I did that. Otherwise I would have kept the name, but then I was like, should I have just left it? You know, so that everyone knows it's the same thing, but I can't do that now because if you, I don't know, do you guys think it would be so confusing? Cause I think it would be, if I went and like went back and titled every part as single mom life season two and took out twisted fate, but then in part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm saying, Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Twisted Fate, but then it's titled Single Mom Life. I feel like that's so confusing. And I know I could like, um, put something in the comments uh, at the top and like pin it to the top, um, to like explain why the change is that. So like, I don't know, like, do I do that or do I leave it how it is, but switch it around? So have the, the name of the part, like, you know, I have different titles for all of them and then do the Sims 4 single mom life season two and then in brackets do twisted fate like is that even gonna help like I'm hoping that would help like I don't know which one I should do <laughs> at first like it didn't seem like much of an issue but now as more people like start asking I just really want those people to know that it is back and I am doing it on the channel and it's the same series it's just obviously in the future where she's not single anymore you know? So I don't know. Comment down below what you think I should do with that. <laughs> should I switch it around so it's Twisted Fate is in brackets? Um, or should I retitle every part and put something at the top of the comments? Um, like just copy and paste a comment and pin it for all, for all the parts so far. Cause there's not that many parts. It is early in the series. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, let me know what do you guys think would be best so that the people who don't know, do know, you know, <laughs> I tried emailing, uh, someone back who asked me about it and they didn't reply. So I don't even know. I don't know. I just, I, I feel bad. <laughs> so that's another thing. And then the last thing is basically what is happening with my channel. So you guys may not even know what I mean by that, but basically if you guys have followed me on Twitter and all of that stuff, then you guys might know. And a lot of people are confused about it. If you actually watch Deligracy, then you probably know what's going on. Um, so you guys know, well, if you guys don't know, <laughs> then I'm going to let you guys know now, but there is, um, a lot going on with YouTube right now. It's such a mess. And the reason I'm telling you guys this is just so you know, like, um, if you're not getting notifications, if you have been unsubscribed, if you are not seeing my videos in your sub box, um, what else? Um, I don't know. I just get comments all the time and it really, really sucks. So yeah. Or when I randomly lose a bunch of subscribers in the middle of the night, if you're confused how that happens, like so I see it sometimes and it's like, I go from one number to another number, like bam, <laughs> it doesn't happen every night anymore now, thankfully, but it does still happen often. So basically YouTube is a crazy mess right now. I have talked about this a little bit and I just want to let you guys know a little bit more of what's going on and how it's affecting my channel. Um, just for any of you guys who don't know about it and you have asked me about it, like, yeah. So, um, pretty much if you guys watched the legacy, she put a video up recently too. So if you guys saw that, then you guys know exactly what's going on. So this limited to no ad symbol that everyone's getting hit with guys, that is so much more than just, Oh, my videos demonetized. It's okay. <laughs> you, what YouTube doesn't tell you is yeah, you can send your video in for review, but once that, that damage is done, well, then that video is kind of screwed, basically. And almost all my videos are getting flagged. So I'm just using that as short form. I don't want to say demonetized because 
Um, when you say that, basically, then everyone's, uh, okay, so I've noticed when YouTubers talk about it and they say my videos are being demonetized, everyone's concerned about, like, they want them to be able to continue doing this and, like, they say things like, you don't deserve to have no ads on your videos and stuff like that, but the videos aren't fully demonetized. So what it is, is it's a yellow symbol and it says limited to no ads. So you may have some ads and you may still see ads on the video or there may be no ads sometimes. And then basically YouTube has a little thing that says uh, that like when it has that symbol, there's like a description thingy, my Bob. And it says basically along the lines that your video is not suitable for mo for most or all advertisers. So basically, YouTube is telling us, this is happening to so many simmers, I don't know why, and it's also happening to kid, completely kid-friendly videos. Like, people have videos of, like, their proposal, their pregnancy announcement, their, uh, my three-year-old making slime, things that are so appropriate, and they're getting flacked because they're apparently not appropriate for advertisers. Now, what that means is not just the fact, oh, we're not gonna put ads on your videos. The problem for me and what Deligracy said she's also concerned about and what many YouTubers are concerned about, um, I can't speak for everyone, of course, but just from what I've heard, like videos that I've watched, it basically means your channel is being hidden in ways. So um, it's not just like, oh, you can send your video and review and then they approve it and they approve it and you're good. No, not at all. So what I've noticed and many people have noticed, I don't know if you've noticed you guys, but seriously, so many channels all at the same time, views have decreased, have decreased massively. Not for every YouTuber, it depends, but if they're being hit badly with this, their views have dec decreased massively. It's so weird how like, I'll go to a channel that I watch all the time and I'm like scrolling through their videos seeing what I want to watch and I'm like, what happened? And it's like dramatic. So it, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of scary. Um, and the reason that is, is because YouTube doesn't want to promote videos that are being flagged with this because if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Um, you, why would YouTube want to promote videos that is apparently not suitable for advertisers because YouTube wants money. And if they're, if your video is not suitable for ads, they're not going to promote it. They're not going to put it in the recommended. They're not going to, you know, so it makes sense. But the problem is they're being falsely flagged that it's not like, your video is appropriate. So yeah, basically what happens is all these channels that are appropriate, you know, they're fine. They're not doing anything wrong. We're, we're following the YouTube rules. We're, we're, we're suffering with damage to our channels and we don't know how this will affect our channels in the future. Like when, when all this gets fixed, if it gets fixed, <laughs> if this bot, cause basically it's a bot doing this, right? So I don't know what this bot does, but apparently like anything with a cat or dog in my thumbnail, boom, flagged. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, guys, I, this video will get flagged. I guarantee you 100%, not even kidding. Um, I can make a video that says I'm live on Twitch for 10 seconds and there's just music. It gets flagged. Like it is insane. <laughs> um, and it gets, it's getting worse and worse. And they keep saying that the bot's going to improve, but I don't see it improving at all. So yeah, the scary part is, um, like, I don't know, I'm concerned for not just my channel, so many channels that I love and like I want to see their channel do well. I'm concerned about what's gonna happen if this bot improves, but then your channel has been hit so many times with this that YouTube thinks your channel's inappropriate and they will just hide it and put it down and down and down. So that's what I'm concerned about. Like, that's kind of scary. <laughs> um, like it's, it, yeah, it's just, I don't know. So yeah, this is getting super long. And, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that's why if you're not getting notifications, I truly think it, that, that this is why, like just this whole bot thing that's like flagging videos. I feel like it affects people's channels so much. And like, um, people are unsubscribed when they didn't unsubscribe. And then I feel like channels that aren't really hit with, um, this thing, um, they do still deal with like these glitches, like people being unsubscribed and stuff, but I feel like sometimes it's not as much, but you know, like seriously, I guess we're all dealing with this in ways, whether every video is getting hit or not, because, um, there is glitches happening to everyone, no matter what. These glitches have been happening even before this bot existed, but then it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. And yeah, 
So you guys, <laughs> that is what's happening with my channel. If you've been wondering, and I've tweeted about it a little bit, but I don't like to talk about it all the time because it is kind of like a bleh situation. Um, and at the end of the day, like I, I create content because I truly enjoy it. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm not stopping, but this does really suck and it is scary for the future. Um, like it, it's scary even for channels, like it, it, it <laughs> like the channels that are just starting out, like, you know, they're, they're just starting because they truly enjoy it. It's like a hobby. Um, that's how we all start out and it's still one of my hobbies. Um, so like, can they even grow? Because this, like, if all their videos are being flagged, you know what I mean? So anyways, <laughs> that's what's going on. Um, if you guys have noticed anything and if you've noticed weird things with YouTube or if you're not getting notifications from me or just anything like that, or I've had people say they got a notification an hour later after the video went up, which is kind of weird too. So yeah, you guys, thank you guys for listening <laughs> to my long rambly thing. And I hope you guys, um, enjoy this update video. I don't know. <laughs> and let me know about the single mom life situation. Let me know what you think I should do about that. Um, so that everyone knows that it is season two. Let me know, uh, what you think. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, I guess, <laughs> and I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh,